How's it going everybody? It's your boy. Now today there's going to be no meme review. I need to find memes to review and also I don't want to do them all the time as you know. Keep you waiting. So basically this is going to be a serious video on a serious topic which might get me into the firing line but I don't really care because pff, what have you. This is part of the job. This is what I have to do. So increasingly I've been seeing on both the left or rather the centre left and the right, increasing signs towards some extreme behaviour in order to achieve their goals. Now, the two primary uh, events have been the Kraut server and the alt-right server. Funnily enough, one of the targets in Kraut's uh, server is the one who runs said alt-right server, which is pr practically the mirror image of Kraut's server. In fact, at one point, I think they may even have been a uh, concurrent in their activities which is very interesting now apart from that everybody's right these things are not the way to go about debate and the discussion on this platform in fact it's quite the opposite this these things serve to only ruin those things make it hard to do everybody will start mistrusting each other and will be basically retreating into our echo chambers in fear of either being doxxed or brigaded or other things like that. Everybody knows what happens. Now for the most part from the centre right, centre left amongst us, it seems like they have successfully managed to, on the whole, criticise Kraut. In fact, I don't think Kraut even thought that people would criticise him to this extent, to the fact that he had to go away for a month or two, however long it took for him to reconsider, only to come back even worse. <laughs> so there's that. But I think what I saw there was a helpful sign, a positive sign that the so-called anti-HGWZ skeptosphere, whatever you want to call it, will and do call out their own, which is pretty good because although a bit of a worrying sign that some people were defending it. And now I don't know why they would defend this. Maybe they thought that because these are extremists and extremists tend to commit these acts that it would be okay to do so. Well, okay, but the problem is most of the people on those target lists weren't actually alt-right and the ones that were apart from that germanicus guy I, for I forgot his name the one who actually does do those things most of them as far as i'm aware have not been shown to engage in those behaviors so yeah you know do it to the doxers do it to the people who are you know going to mass flag people if they're going to use that sword they should die by it that's my philosophy on these things everybody knows that now i must say people must refrain from doing these things because it's only going to make their arguments look bad, it's going to make their, uh, for lack of a better term, side look bad because it could convince the normies and the, and the neutrals that they're not actually that reasonable even though they have the more reasonable political positions because they'll see these people saying, look, we're all for, you know, anti-racism or sexism or these other things that they claim to be, you know, against race realism and against the ethnostate or at least a forced ethnostate, those kind of things then they'll see these tactics being used by some of these members and think, well, you're supposed to be the reasonable ones, and I do agree with some of the things you say, but you're not acting like an unreasonable person. In fact, you're acting like an unreasonable person. You're acting like maybe you're losing the argument to these people because you're resorting to these dangerous tactics, these, what I would like to say is actually desperate tactics. And so they might go instead to the alt-right or even to the alt-left, not the alt left that originally formed, which was an anti SUW thing, but the anti FAD types. And some people have actually gone to that side, believe it or not. Why? Because it's all about your actions. It's all about how you present yourselves. And it's a sad fact that a minority can actually make a majority look bad. Everybody knows this. However, what's interesting is that although I've seen, I mean, this is all the only that I've seen, I could be wrong. You guys could all, you know, correct me in the comments. I've seen the more, for lack of a better term, centrists call out their own, but I don't really see the alt-right doing so. I've not seen any of them talk about this little uh, alt-right thing that was leaked to the public in the negative terms. They seem to be trying to downplay it. They seem to be trying to not defend them as such, but wave them away and to say, oh, it's nothing, and even trying to say it might even be just a ploy to attack them, even though it's, from what I've gathered, it's to point out that, yeah, they're just as bad as Kraut. In fact, Kraut's one of the ones talking about them and spying on them, and it's like, guys, you did the same thing. 
don't start throwing stones in the glass house, okay? But it's like when people talk about these things, when these legitimate criticisms are brought up, they don't take it. They don't want to know anything about it. They're just like, no, 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 nothing whatsoever here to, to even complain about. And it's just like, guys, keep your own house in order. You'd be telling people who aren't outright like me to keep my house in order. And I think I'm trying to do that right now by attacking not only the SUWs, but also, you know, criticising Kraut for when he did what he did. I don't see Brave and Ruin attacking that guy and his server. And also, recently in the debates that have been going on, we've been seeing Arch Warhammer, V, a few other people getting doxxed by anonymous alt-writers on 8chan's Paul board. Why are they doing this? I don't know why. I assume it's either Intimidate Arch or V, or to put their details out there for future use. I don't know. But I don't see them being criticised by most of the alt-right people. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really see them saying, yeah, we're alt-right, we disagree with these other alt-writers doing this thing, they should stop. Or, I mean, you can't force them to stop it, but you should at the very least say that, yeah, th this is not what most of us do. Because again, the actions of minority can make the majority look bad. And when that majority is not actually attacking this minority, it's not criticising this minority, and instead just lets them do it, that makes you look bad, doesn't it? That makes you lot look like enablers. Because that's what we like to label out of religious moderates as, enablers of the extremists. Because in many ways they do. Don't be those guys. Also, I don't think people should be doxing others just for talking. Like, isn't that what we want? We want a dialogue? So these doxers are basically saying, no dialogues. We just want our revolution. Whenever that will happen, whenever Western civilization collapses, then you'll have your revolution. I wonder why they don't want people talking to people like Spencer or Bates Alaska or any of these other people. I wonder why they have to dox them. I mean, what did Arch even do to these people? All he did was talk to one person that they respect. Couldn't have been that bad a debate, could it? Likewise, I don't think it's fair to coalesce all this info about other people, even if it's public or not, to use against them, unless it's in the public interest. So, for example, Coach Red Pill's uh, little fraud thing, that's in the public interest. That's a crime. He should be brought to justice for that, although probably he won't be for whatever reason. Maybe because of, there might be a statute of limitations, or maybe the guy who he defrauded simply doesn't think it's financially worth it to do so. But I think that was in the public interest. But Aiden Paladin's face and other people's addresses who haven't done anything wrong, like, what does that serve the argument for? What does that serve the discourse? Nothing whatsoever. If they've done nothing wrong, they've committed no crime, if they've done just normal things like making videos, just because it's an opinion that they shared. That doesn't mean that their details have to be collected in order to be used against them. That's why I put to Bearing and everybody attacked Christy Winters and Danny Cotts and all those others for doing the same thing. So I think it's the same. I think the same applies there. I think we really should be criticising that behaviour. Now, are the people on the left doing this or in the centre? Probably. I'm not going to deny that, that these people always have existed and always will. They're a minority. Same as the alt right, it's a minority of people doxing. And I think these people will have their day and then they'll probably stop once they actually do get some criticism. Or at least, you know, maybe scale it back a bit and only do it to people that they really don't like. I think it's important that we do keep our houses in order and then we do criticise these people, these minorities who are making it worse for everybody. It's not fair, just because they're on the same side doesn't mean that they're positive, okay? Other than that, I think that's it. But, you know, this is just my opinion. You could take it or leave it. I'm not telling you to go and do these things. I'm just advising both sides that this is probably what we should be doing. I'm not saying that you have to do it. So, anyway, it's been your boy. Until next time, see you later.